Okay, hello class. Hi. Hi, Jasmine. Okay, you know class? Oh no. It is raining <laughs> heavily outside, so I can barely hear you guys. Oh. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's wait for your classmate. Okay, I guess we are ready, ready to start with this class. Here we go. Welcome back to, to this class. Here we go. As I was mentioning before, yeah, we are having a very heavy rain outside, so casi no puedo escucharles. No sé si ustedes me escuchan. Si me escuchan bien. Okay, yeah. muy bien. This is what matters, okay? So let me ask you, how is it going, class? How was your day? What did you do today? Was today a good day, a bad day? How was it? Let me listen. <laughs> It was a normal day, teacher. A day of work. A regular day. Yes. In your case, Janari, how was your day? Um, good, teacher, because um, I'm sick. Really? Yeah. Sick. Uh, oh, here, no. here, here, I have here. Uh huh. Oh, but. Okay. Tomorrow I, I have to, I'm going to, to go to my job. To the doctor, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So, uh, how about you, Jasmine? How was your day? Mine was good, a little bit boring, but... Really, uh, why? Time for team. Okay, so you know, it is very important to ask people, you know, to ask your classmates about this type of questions, right? These regular questions that we are always asking. How was your day? Because, you know, sometimes uh, we just need somebody to listen, right? So I guess we are very uh, busy the whole day doing the activities that we need to do and when we come back home we don't have time to have this type of uh, topic or discussions with your family because we are busy in my case whenever i come back home i need to um, start with this class you know because i come back home around 
seven or seven thirty, so I just have some time so I can have something for dinner. And after that, I need to be here with you. So uh, uh, today is a great opportunity. So you can go and talk to your classmates. We are going to have this uh, first activity. I am going to give you some time with your classmates from five to six minutes. So you can go talk to your classmates, ask them how was your day, let them express themselves about the activities that they did today, if they had a great day, if their day was a little bit boring. Let's just listen, okay? So we can start um, this class in a different way, not by bringing the topic and having this discussion about the topic, ethics, no. Let's start the class by listening to your classmates. You know, I am going to give you the chance to go and talk to them. Let's see. Here we go, from five to six minutes, and then we come back and we can start with the class, okay? Here we go, go class. And David, yeah, David is in room number one. Yes, yes, then okay. <laughs> okay, so go class. How was your day? That is the question. How was your day? Had it. You clean your computer regularly, Yalvin? I have to be honest and no. Yes, I because if we, if we don't uh, eliminate the, the temporary files or the, the uh, cookies and all of that things, there are a, there are a, a program that can help you that is a CC cleaner. This okay. this program clean the the my part of the computer, but uh, you need to go to the uh, to go to the configuration of the computer, and in that part you need to to clean the the. Um, how are the name? The temporary files. There's always the computer save a lot of temporary files. Uh, sometimes in my computer I erase uh, about uh, one giga, one giga only of temporary files, and that uh, it affect the, the, the all of the things that the computer do. The okay. computer run is slow, the computer, the many things. And uh, you can, uh, no, you need to. I don't know if, if uh, I not, I mean, teacher, we can share the computer, the computer, the, the, the screen. Yeah, sure. Just let me let you. Ahorita les permito, okay? Don't worry. Okay, okay. Pap. Hi, Francisco. Hi, Tisha. Good How evening. are you? Good evening. I am fine, and you? I'm good, I'm good. I'm feeling better today, you know? Okay. Okay, so you know, as the first activity from this class, I just gave your classmates some time so you can ask them about their day. How was your day? So we can start a different 
a way this class. So okay. let me send uh -huh. you to room number two. And this is what we are doing in this moment. Just okay. asking, you know, this type of questions. Welcome okay, to teacher. the class, go. Great, thank you. Hi. Hi, Francisco. Yes, so, so we're about our days. Um, Lourdes day and mine at work wasn't that, that exciting. It was kind of boring. This day. Okay. So, uh, and Giovanni was saying something similar, very similar. Our day wasn't that exciting. Yesterday, though, mm -hmm. I asked if, we, if I got wet. Hello, Kenya. Hello, teacher. Okay, welcome, welcome to the class. You know, as the first activity from the class, I uh, just gave your classmates some time so they can, you know, have these regular conversations about the activities that you did during the day. Okay, how was your day? This is what we have been discussing in the groups. So I am going to send you to a group so you can listen to your classmates and at the same time uh, know a little bit more about their day, okay? Yeah, perfect. Okay, okay. sure, go. Room number four. Okay. Visit your client or yes. always stay at your office? What? I'm sorry. I can, can you ask Jocelyn to him? <laughs> I can listen. Uh, William want to, wants to know if you visit your clients or you receive them in your office. Sorry, in my home is raining so hard. I can listen so well. Please. The same here. <laughs> yes. Okay. I can hear you. Wait a moment. I will change the, the microphone. Okay, now, can you listen to it? Okay. I know. Okay, can you listen to it? Yes. Okay, tell me, will you, uh, tell me William. What do you say, William? <laughs> William? William, ask Erwin your question. Oh, okay. Sorry, I can hear. But uh, Erwin, my question is, if you visit your client or always you stay at, at the office? Hi, Thelma. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you, Thelma? Uh, fine. Uh, You're fine. fine. Uh, it's, uh, it's raining. Uh, already it's raining very hard. It is yeah. the same as here, you know. I can barely listen to all of you, you know. <laughs> yeah. But as the first activity that we are having in this moment, I just gave you a couple of <laughs> minutes. So you can go and ask your classmates about their day. 
How was your day? That is the question that we are discussing, you know? Just like oh, an okay. introduction. So, yes, go listen to your classmates and let them know about your day, okay? Okay. Okay, Thank go, go to room number, number one. Okay, thanks. Feel, especially, especially this day when I have to, to speak with them. Yes, yes, it's, it's, it's difficult. It's difficult to, to explain uh, some of the part of uh, the, the thing that we do. Yes. It's, it's difficult, yes. Uh, but uh, we need to do it this next Friday, uh, tomorrow is Thursday, the, the next day, the day after tomorrow, Friday, there was a uh, uh, people from the we teach with an American American method. That is the name of this method is Abeka, Abeka book. Okay. They are, uh, all, these books are all in English. And uh, one guy of the company is coming back for several, no, not coming back, he's coming. Coming for, for the first time. He's coming to El Salvador and uh, uh, all of the teachers, is to go in a meeting with, with these people to, to learn, to learn some, some things about the, the class, about the books, about the projects, and this uh, Friday and the next Monday. But in this case, they, they will be talking to us. They will be teaching us. They will be explaining us because uh, they are the book provider. Uh, these are, are expensive books, but are, are good books. Good books for, for, for history, for grammar, for uh, uh, math, and uh, uh, from phonics, phonics that is the, the correct way that you can say, say something, not only, not only the, 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 the why of you say it, but the the stress. Where do you need to make the, the stress? All of uh -huh. that thing. Oh, okay. The, the, our students can speak English very well, really well. They speak um, really well. In fact, they are in the past time, in the past years, before the pandemic time. They were to a uh, time of interchange with the uh, USA. Oh. But uh, uh, for the pandemic, it's uh, not more. But uh, the last year, some people of the USA came to El Salvador. Okay. And these guys talk to them without problem. They, they uh, talk. Uh, the jokes, the all of the things, the the, the young people, the the teenagers, American teenagers, in, in Salvadorian teenagers, uh, like the same, that they, they don't have problem to talk to to, to these people. Okay, this is it's a, a very good English school. We have a very good teacher, English teacher, and uh, the students can learn uh, really well. Then they learn really well uh, English, to speak English. And some of them are, are learning by themselves uh, another another language. Some, some of them are, are learning German. Others are learning uh, French. Oh, some cool. of them are learning uh, Chinese, uh, Mandarin. Wow. And uh, it's interesting. interesting. Yes, it is. But, but uh, the, the, the school only teach English. Ah, okay. And what material and do, do you teach? I teach math. Oh, really? Math and, yes. And for, for you are, and you are really, really, really good for math? Yes, I, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I think so. Because and do you of like the, it? 
all, all of the, all of the, many of the, not, not all of them, but many of the teachers ask me about uh, some problems in another subject that involves uh, math, and I can explain them about that. Okay. And oh. I, I give, I give some, some class to people that are studying in the university too, but okay. in a particular way. But mainly okay. middle and high school. That is okay. my my field. Oh, excellent, David. I was listening to you, you know. But let me tell you, I already have Freddy's and Telma in the room. So you can ah, ask sorry, them, you sorry. Know? No, <laughs> I we are just coming. We just joined the, the room. That's why I'm interrupting. I'm so sorry for doing that. But let's listen to them. Ask them about their day and after okay. that we are coming back to the main room go ahead please sorry Selma sorry Freddy Selma tell us about your day hello Davis uh, how are you uh, Fine. okay and driving so you are driving well um uh, I had a, a relaxed day but at, at, at noon before taking my, my, my breakfast, they, they call me to manage me for a, a good news. <laughs> uh, I, I feel happy for this to give me a, a, a good news because they increase my salary. And of course, the, the, the working is, is the same. It's very hard. <laughs> um, thank you. Thank God, you know. Um, but actually, I don't do it healthy. Now I... I uh, visiting to the doctor okay. for the problem to age. <laughs> it's, it's normally okay. for the age. <laughs> <laughs> for the age. Yeah, but I have a, a, a not only have good news, but also <laughs> my my health is. Is mm, I have some trouble, but I think I will find. Yes, yes, you need to do, be fine. I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> well, and uh, Jarvin. Okay. Hello. Hello. How are you today? Oh, uh, I was talking with David and I say that I have a horrible day. My computer doesn't want to work <laughs> and I yeah. have a lot of activity to do. So I have a, a busy day and a horrible and and I have a headache or oh, was a horrible day. Horrible day. And you, Freddy? Uh, today it was good for me. I didn't have that much work. It was an easy day. I can't complain. OK, time to come back. <clears throat> Hi, Fernando. Hi. <laughs> How is it going, Fernando? Uh, it's, it's going well. Uh, like always, I, I am a little tired. But <laughs> I know, uh, right? I can't imagine. The same here, you know? Today, I had yes, a really uh, hard day. Hard yes, day. Uh, I, I am working right now. Uh, I really? try to, to get 
uh, extra job to get extra money. Really? <laughs> so I have to do the, the, the extra effort. I know, I know, right? So the same as here, you know? This is like an extra job that I have. But actually it's not like a job because I really love to do this. So this is what I like for, for being a teacher, you know, that I have the chance to share it with some other guys, you know, about my experience. Okay, guys, you know, I had a chance you know, to be in some of the rooms you were discussing about our regular days, about the activities that we do. I guess it is quite important, right, to get to know a little bit more about our classmates because we are coming you know from monday to friday to this class but sometimes we are afraid that we don't really like to you know to have this type of topics you know so it was a great opportunity so you can know each other now let me go ahead and check the attendance list and after that I am going to let you know about the activity that we are going to have for this class. Here we go. I guess there are some students who are still missing to join the class, but probably they are gonna be here in a while. Okay, it's 20, right? 20th. Let me see. Okay. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Veinte, aquí estoy. Okay, Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. David Samuel Galdames Monterroso. Ok. Diego Alejandro Caballero López. Dora Elizabeth Flores Méndez. Erwin Lagos Andrade. Fernando Ernesto. Ok, muy bien, Erwin. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Francisco Amadeo Villacorta Chávez. I am here, teacher. Predis Vladimir Cortez López. I'm here. Genesis de Carmen Hernández Virzuela. Harvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present, teacher. Que Jasmine Marisol Escobar Flores. Present. Kenia Esmeralda Galvez Ruiz. Present. Lourdes Montserrat Hernández Velázquez. Present. Madeline Yamilet Molina González. Present. Selma Cleotilde Peña Martínez. Present teacher. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jessica Yanari Cortés Díaz. I'm here. And Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. There we go. Okay, so in today's class, this is class number 12. This is the topic that we are going to be discussing about. Look, as you may remember yesterday, um, we were having this reading. It was about um, some examples, 10 different examples about ethics at the workplace, right? So in this case, in this opportunity, as you may see, uh, we are going to find out similar information. But in this case, on how, how to promote ethics at work. Okay, some recommendations that we are going to have. And I really need you to go to your student's book, a student's manual. Go to page number 18. If you see 
we have um, some information that we need to review about this topic, you know? But in this case, for today's class, we are going to have at least two of these readings. So we can have those ideas, those recommendations, and we can discuss, right? So the first one that we are going to have, look, page number, number 18, is this one. Here we go. This is the one. Eight guidelines for managing, but let me see, ¿cuál será de estos? I guess it's this one. It's the second one. Yeah, this is the one that we're going to have. Okay, this one. So, what are we going to do? As you may see, I need you to go over this information, read the information with the help of your classmates, and the same as we have been doing, right? Read the information and try to express what is this reading really about, to have specific examples about what we are being discussed, right? As you may see, we are going to find five, well, eight examples. So it is very easy. If you work in pairs, of course, you're going to be reading a four and four, but I guess we are going to be working in trio. So go review the information that we have, read the information that we have there, and try to think about possible examples or experiences that you have had at work. And after that, we are coming back to the main room so we can listen about the information that you have ready. Okay? So let me ask you, is it clear what we are going to do in this moment? We need to read the information and mm -hmm. think about some examples. That is the thing that we need to do. Exactly. Remember that whenever we read this information or any other type of information, what we are trying to do is for you to think about your actual workplace, you know? or previous right. workplaces, right? So how can we adapt this information to reality, right? To experiences that, that we have had or probably so, a real examples that we have been discussing. Sorry, yes. teacher, this is the page that you are sending us. This is the second one. Yeah, I have the, the same. One. Let me see, page is number 18. This we are in page 18, then the second. The second link is showing the, in my case, is showing so, the same let me see. No, it's baby. not that one. It's not that one. Uh -huh. Yo puse el link y a eso me mandó también. Vamos that, a ver, don't worry. So it's not, no, no, no. Okay, my mistake, my bad. I guess it is the fourth one. Es el número cuatro, class. It's because I was reading this information today in my lunch time, you know? So I don't really remember about which was the one. So yes, number four, the name is article. Eight guidelines for managing ethics in the workplace. Se los muestro, ¿ok? Es el número cuatro. This is the one. Uh -huh. in, Vamos, in, in, in this case, tell me that is, that is uh, not found. Really? I don't know the... 
I don't know the other one. Ah, okay, now, yes. Yes, yes. ahí está, yes. muy bien. Hay guidelines for managing muy bien. Managing edit group. Yeah, that's the one. So, excellent. Let's have some time so we can read about this information, you know? After that, we are going to have a, a single discussion a topic, you know? Related to the reading that we are going to have today. Vamos, chicos. Let me create new rooms so you can talk to different classmates. One, two, three, four. Aquí vamos. Go class. Yes. here. So we're going to go ahead and read the eight thingies. So is this thing? So, um, so can you see it? Chris? Yeah. Okay. All right. So, uh, so we have the Monday? No, teacher, teacher, send us. The teacher send us. The link. Ah, okay. So we have the eight guidelines for managing ethics at the workplace. Okay, so number one is recognize that managing ethics is a process. Mm -hmm. So ethics is a matter of values and associated behaviors. Values are discerned through the process of ongoing reflection. Therefore, ethics programs may seem more process-oriented than most management practices. Managers tend to be skeptical of process-oriented activities and instead prefer process, processes focused on deliver, deliverables with measurements. However, experienced managers realize that deliver, deliverables of a standard management practices, meaning planning, organizing, motivating, controlling, are only tangible representations of very process-oriented practices. For example, the process of a strategic planning is much more important than the plan produced by the process. The same is true for ethics management. Ethics programs do produce deliverables, e.g. codes, policies, and procedures, budget items, meeting minutes, authorization forms, newsletters, etc. However, the most important aspect from an ethics management, pro management program is the process of reflection and dialogue that produces these deliverables. Okay. Entonces, que los programas para aplicar la ética son más bien orientados a procesos en lugar de obtener resultados eh, cuantificables inmediatamente. Mm -hmm. So, any of you have an, an example of that at work or in a previous job? Um, mm, 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 mm.
Every work. Okay. Uh... I will read the first one and then I will say what I understand. <laughs> it says, ethics is a matter of values and associated behaviors. Values are designed through the process of ongoing reflection. Therefore, yeah. ethics programs might seem more process oriented than most management practices. Uh, managers tend to be skeptical of process oriented activities and still prefer process focus on the liberals with measurements. I understand here that uh, maybe when, when the company, they want to create the processes, they only think about uh, how, how much they will spend or how much they will uh, gain or the earnings the process will have mm -hmm. instead of uh, how will be the process? And I think this is true because uh, in, my, in my company, they they put a uh, very long processes, administrative processes, and they are so annoying <laughs> and tiring because you have to have like three signatures for they to give you five bucks. Uh, you have to print everything. Uh, mark a uh, specific specific words and it's yes, so yeah. tiny <laughs> but i think they don't think about that they only think about uh they think this is the best way they don't only think they don't think about the efficiency in time i guess um then it says, however, experienced managers realize that the deliverables of standard management practices, planning, organizing, motivating, controlling are only tangible representations of very process oriented practices. For example, the process of strategic planning, planning is much more important than the plan produced mm -hmm. by the process. Yeah. Uh, the same is true for ethics management. Ethics programs do produce deliverables, example, codes, policies, and procedures, budget items, meeting minutes, authorization forms, newsletter, etc. However, the most important aspects from ethic management program is the process of reflection and dialogue that produce these deliverables. I think is what they say the the most important thing is to understand each other. Yeah. More than say we already wrote these processes, we uh, authorized this. In our in, in our increasingly critical society, these organizations that accuse of being hypocritical, I don't know how they say this word, and they are soon this one also pilloried by social critics. Consequently, some leaders may fear sticking their knee next out public, publicly to announce an ethics management program. This is extremely unfortunate. It's the train that comes and brings peace of mind. Not achieving an heroic status in society. What do you think? This is the question. What do you see? And the first, the first uh, summarizing, the first uh, uh, guideline, because this is uh, managing ethics in the workplace, how to 
to manage ATC in the good place. And the first step is recognize that managing ethics is a process. And they, they said, I, I don't think so. I don't think so, but they say that uh, the purpose or, or the process of strategic planning, the process of strategic planning is much more important than the plan. I don't think so. I think the, the goal to make a process of strategic planning is to get, get a plan. But they say get that, yes, they say that the process is much more important than the plan. And uh, apply this to the ethics process. The same is true. The ethics management, I think so in the ethics process, but I don't think so in the strategic planning. Because the company needs a strategic plan to operate. Uh, ethics management, uh, ethics program do produce deliverables, example given calls, policies and procedures, budget items, meeting minutes, authorization forms, news. Did you finish, guys? Uh, we are ready. Yes. Oh, really? I thought you were going to share your screen. One of you were going to share the screen so you could have a reading and discussion at the same time. But I don't know. I don't know if you prefer to do it by yourself. And after that, project what you're reading. And have the discussion. Yes. OK, so do it in that way. Finish by yourself. And after that, you have the reading together. OK. OK. Go ahead. Some organization has to come by the According to Google, is ampliamente conocido. Sí. Esta parte del, lo que dice prácticamente es que si vos tenés un programa de, de ética de tu empresa, que podría, o sea, puede incrementar la cantidad de, de problemas o casos por los que tratar dentro de la empresa. Entonces, si no te, es como que. Como que no te dieras cuenta. No, es como no. que, por ejemplo, vos, no, vos en tu empresa no sabes, como no hay un programa de ética, no sabes por qué te podrías quejar. O por qué vos podrías, mire, aquí está escrito en el programa de ética que esto no es correcto en la empresa. Pero como no hay, vos no sabes. Y cuando hay, sí tenés donde ir a respaldar y decir, mire, aquí está y esto no pasa aquí. Entonces, es como que. Es más fácil ir a encontrar un, un problema o que, de qué tratar de, con eso. Que ocurra más, más seguido ¿eh? cuando hay personas bien, que son bien... Visquillosas. Eh, como, no, no, son, ajá. O, o, de... 
Okay. Yeah. So okay. if you receive a, a maltrato in alguna oficina, you can do a demanda even in internet. There is a web page that you can, if you know about something corruption or something that is doing wrong uh, project, you can give an advice to the tribunal de ethics. I, I understand that the process is confidential. Yeah. Yes, yes. If you, mm. if you give an advice, it's confidential. Yeah. At the final, at the final, <laughs> the process is is yes. public. <laughs> so there is something new that maybe you didn't know. <laughs> okay, Thelma, do you want to read the number three? Okay. The best way to handle ethical dilemmas is to avoid a occurrence in the first place. That's why practices such as developing cults of edit and causal conduct are so important. Their devel de development since it is employed to ethical consideration and minimize the chance of unethical behavior occurring in the first place. Mm -hmm. This point is about the, uh, how do you, um, make your work in a, in a, and the public compliments the edit calls or not i think is uh, like the company has to create clear rules like yeah. Uh, which behaviors are acceptable, which are which are not. Um, because I think if you don't know what is wrong, you might do it. <laughs> or if you don't know, uh, I mean, if you don't have the clear uh, rules, like if it's okay to print your personal things in, in the printer or if it's okay if you come late from lunch, uh, maybe it's about that. I think in the pandemic, they created something like that, that is not okay to stand too close to your coworker. Or in my office, they, they put signs in the chairs at the, at the break room that you cannot use this chair, only use this one. So I, I think it's about that because if you you have the clear path to follow, it's easier to to do what is right for the company. I think it's about that. Um, well. Uh, some companies have some consideration with the new employees until they know the rules. Yeah. Yes, I think that is, is the correct thing to do. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, someone wants to read the number four? Who? Uh huh. Or to can I read it? Okay. Okay. Number four says make ethics decisions in groups and make decisions public as appropriate. This usually produces better quality 
decisions by including diverse interests and perspectives and increases the credibility of the decision process and outcome by reducing suspicions of unfair bias. I understand that uh, when the company wants to create the rules, they should speak with everyone, like mm -hmm. because they may be, be really severe with the rules. For example, if they want to you to be on time all the time, I think it's okay to to know which employees live farther um, because I think in my case all the time <laughs> I mean I, I live two hours apart from the office and I drive 18 kilometers to get there and every day something happens there is an accident there is a close street there is something <laughs> so um, I cannot be on time every day um fortunately in my company they don't they don't make discounts or they don't they are not so strict with this if you are late no one says anything if they leave it to your responsibility to to make the eight hours to work the, the, the eight hours so i think that it's that it's good because it will be very stressful for me, I think to be uh, always scared to if I'm late and if it's not my fault. Um, so I think that, that that's about you have to consider uh, the situation of every employee to make a rule because imagine they make a discount every time I'm late. <laughs> I will not receive any yeah, money. Sure. <laughs> um, there are co-workers that live like five minutes from the office. So it will be very unfair, I think, because I have to uh, go out from my house like I 5.30 to be on time. <laughs> and the, the, the other co-workers, the, they wake up at 7 a.m. I think it's about that. Um, maybe it says... Uh, by including diverse have flexibility perspectives uh -huh. and increases yeah. the credibility of the decision process and outcome by reducing suspicions of unfair bias like um, maybe someone might think why if she's like no one says anything um, but if they know I live far from the office they will understand better like yeah, I saw in Twitter that there was an accident or something yeah. happened mm -hmm. to the traffic. I think it's about that. I don't know if someone has a different opinion. Yeah. It's just... um... No, I know. I think that that's the idea about that better. Okay, you want to read the five? Uh, yes, I will read. Number five, integrate ethics management with other management practices. When developing the values statement during a strategy, strategy, strategic planning, include ethical values preferred in the workplace. When developing personal policies, reflect on what ethical values you'd like to be most prominent in the organization culture and, and then design policies to produce these behaviors. Uh, okay, this is uh, similar to the lay data that regulates the public institutions, but every company has his own, own regulations, his own rules that have to implement to have an, an order in the company. And by this, by this way, the employees will, uh, will try or will follow that rules to have an order in the company, like to be punctual, 
or to practice uh, the responsibility values, so, responsibility, yeah. yes, mm -hmm. that kind of rules. Efficiency. I think that that's my idea about that. Okay, I think the same. I think this is when the, the company states with what is more important for them to be practiced uh, by the co-workers. Uh, who wants to read the number six? Okay. Did you guys finish? Yes, teacher. Reading, yeah. You did? Wow, excellent. Okay, as you may see, we have uh, some new words, new vocabulary that, that we have there. So it is very important for us to go and look for the definition, right? So we can have some extra vocabulary as well. But if you are done with the discussion, let me just give you a couple of minutes so you can go review the article again and do what I'm saying, you know? Look for pronunciation or probably new words so you can have this like uh, extra information because I still have three groups that they haven't uh, finished yet. So do this in this moment, okay? Okay. Oh, yeah. yes. Some new world the following the women's children. My name is in a full fashion. In a meaningful fashion. Meaningful fashion. Recognize that my name is it's a process. Fashion, because fashion, very fashion. In a meaningful fashion. Function. De manera the following guidelines ensure the ethics management program is operated in a meaningful fashion. The ethics focus guarantizan, ensure the ethics management program is operated in a meaningful fashion. Ah, okay. Yes, they um, try to avoid to be part of that because it's a responsibility for them. Yeah, in, um, in our job, in our office, we do have like a, a committee that's for like um, first response, like first aid. Uh, there's this girl that handles like um, the little bracelet to take out your blood pressure and things like that. And the other one is in front of the medicine cabinet. And we do have like uh, a committee or yeah, a committee to uh, report like um, work harassment or um, any other um, sort of harassment, if you get my meaning. Yeah. At, at the office, so. And I don't know what happened to Yanari though. Maybe there's something at home that's going on because she, she's been gone for quite a while. Okay, Let's, shall we move on? Yep. Okay, so value forgiveness. This may sound rather religious or preachy to some, but it's probably the most. Uh, uh, van a disculpar que mi papá solo vino y prendió la tele. 
so um but it's probably the most important component of a management practice. An ethics management program may at first actually increase the number of ethical issues to be dealt with because people are more sensitive to their occurrence. Consequently, there may be more occasions to address people's unethical behavior. The most important ingredient for remaining ethical is trying to be ethical. Therefore, help people recognize and address their mistakes and then support them to continue to try to operate ethically. So, I think here enters the example that you were giving me, the girl that didn't want to uh, change her wardrobe to work. Uh, that means that you can, you, I mean, you give her warnings, right? And then- Yeah, you advise her first. Uh, they didn't take a decision right away. On yeah, the it's, it's the same in our office. I mean, we have to have at least three um, employee actions before something drastic has to be made, you know? Yes, and also there's something that could help people because um, in some cases, they try to change their attitudes. Yeah, so like you can, you have to like give them a chance to improve. And if with chances and they still don't improve, that, that's when you take the drastic measures. I, I do know that some, uh, like in the government, it's very similar that you have to have like, like in, like in the sports, you have to have three strikes before you're a, you're, you'll be sacked. Um, yeah. And in your company, something like that too? Yes, we have three. Uh, nosotros también tres strikes y, y después estás out. So let's go with the last one. So it says, note that trying to operate ethically and making a few mistakes is better than not trying at all. Some organizations have become widely known as operating in highly ethical manner. E.G. Ben and Jerry's, Johnson and Johnson, Aveda, Howard Packard, etc. Unfortunately, it seems that when an organization achieves this strong public image, it's placed on a pedestal by some business ethics writers. Um, no. Okay. Note that trying to operate ethically and making a few mistakes is better than not trying at all. Uh -huh. No, like, no, 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 no,
Did you guys finish reading in your group, Jocelyn? Uh, yes, a little. You did, okay. Okay, did you guys finish uh, reading the information? You did? Yes, teacher. There we go. So, discussion time. So, what was the main topic? Ethics. Mm -hmm. Look. What uh, is a guideline? What is that? Lineamientos. Lineamientos para qué? Para manejar las etic, la ética dentro del trabajo. Ah, muy bien. So, eight different guidelines for managing ethics in the workplace. And yes, you were actually reading eight different guidelines. And at the end, <laughs> we have this short question. What do you think? There we go. So, take a look at the first one. First one. Let's do a quick review and let me have some of you um, expressing about your opinion, you know? I guess we're not going to read again the whole information, you know, because of time, because we still have another activity. So let me ask you, I'm going to be asking you to participate in group. Quiero ver los grupos. Okay, let me stop sharing. I cannot. I don't know if somebody else can share his or her screen. If not, I'm not gonna be able to take a look at the, the names. I can share it if you want. Okay, sure, please. Vamos a ver. Okay, first one, group number one. Uh, David, Erwin, Fredis, and Jocelyn. Let's have the first one. What is your opinion about that? Vamos a ver. David, who else was in that group? David, Erwin, Fredis, and Jocelyn. Okay, don't worry, don't worry. How about the rest of you? Erwin, Fred, and Jocelyn. Jocelyn, can you please read the first guideline? Just the, the topic. Topic sentence. Okay, sure. Recognize that managing ethics, ethics is a process. Okay, it's a process, yes. What were you guys discussing about this? Why are they saying that this is a process? They are making a comparison, right? What were they saying about this process? Nobody? Sure. Go. Yes, Erwin. Yes, we will, you will find two times the process, two times the ethic in the company. Okay. Okay. First, first is with the employees. Second is with the customer. Yeah. Okay. I need to restart my computer. Okay. I go back to the full Okay, yeah, there we go, great example. So, you know what, I guess we will have to read the information again, right? Because in that way you can remember about what we are talking about, because we have eight different guidelines. So in this way, I guess it's easier. So- well, the Comparison between what, that the that managers usually prefer uh, programs that you can identify the results in measurements. Okay. Rather... 
Here we have it. What you're, what you're saying. Mm -hmm. But the in the ethics are do I mean an ethics program does give results, but yeah. does give them in a way you can measure them with numbers. And it's because it's because it's a process, and it's because you're trying to change or apply a form of conduct how people behave, and they're not going to change from one day to another mm -hmm. to like give them a reason to change and apply the ethics of whatever is it that you're doing. There we go. So as you may see exactly, what kind of process is this one? Is this a behavioral process? What results are they going to get or they are expecting to get as J Jasmine was mentioning? Uh -huh. We are talking about what teacher, sorry, I lost my audio for about five minutes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what we are talking about? Number one, um, it is being said that this is a process. What companies, managers, what are they expecting to get from this process? What type of research? Well, I, I think that this is a, an external guy to the company. Uh, somebody write the guide, maybe a theoretical guy write this guide for the companies. And uh, uh, this is saying to the companies that they need to recognize yeah. that ethics is a process. It's not the end results but the process exactly. and the what the people think or what the people learn in the process is uh, they want to to ask for or they want to look for the the people involved in the process and uh, while they are involved in the process they are learning because i i was asking to my my group to my my partners yeah uh, you are talking about ethic in your workplace and nobody, nobody talk nobody, about that. Right. Yes, we don't talk about ethics. We we think that somebody is unfair for us. This is not fair for us. Okay. okay. But uh, we don't think about ethics like a general program. We and, don't. Right. Uh, okay. Yes, and the employee wants a uh, uh, ethic employee. Employee. Uh, let me let me say in a different in a different way. The owner expect that the employee has an, an ethical code uh -huh. but they don't they don't write or they don't talk or they don't teach or they don't try in, exactly. in, in that kind of thing only only in the external part to the client the the, the customer but in the inside part of the organization the, we don't talk about that and we we want final results, but the important thing that is the, the the this part that I'm saying the important thing is the process. This is important thing, the process. Okay, so great. There we go. You know, I do agree with what you have been expressing. So let me ask Doris, Fernando, Francisco, and William. In your case, at your workplace, do you guys have uh, guidelines or have you ever heard about any type of process that will indicate like some procedures or what do you really need to do if you find um, somebody or I don't know a client probably doing unethical practices at, at work or what do you do? Mm. Yes, sorry. Mm. In my case, they aren't uh, write the code Eric, okay. but is in the the behavior is a the, the behavior is, is application the the Eric. Okay. Yeah. Yes. In in today uh, the all companies. Must, must have a old etiquette. Mm -hmm. All organizations 
in El Salvador. Okay. It's for Lao. Yeah. Uh, in my case, well, we, we, we don't have maybe uh, a man manual or, or uh, pages or procedures or maybe a step to follow, but uh, yes, sometimes we receive uh, emails with the procedure, with the step to to do some procedures, but uh, procedures are only for maybe uh, management processes mm -hmm. inside the, yeah. the company, mm -hmm. but not for maybe customer treatments or Excellent. or co-workers treatments, or maybe if you use you see something wrong in your know, coworker. You, we we don't have maybe a procedure right waiting. Okay, in, you don't have like a, a place to go or a person to go and talk to about we, what it, happened, right? We we know uh, to who uh, we have to to communicate the problem. Okay. We, we the, the 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 communicate lines are clear, but. Uh, there isn't uh, writing. It's only we 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 know. Only we know what I what I have to do, but uh, we don't have a manual or a step a step to follow in a paper or, or a manual, something like that. We don't have we don't have it. So there's not a like information, a written down document, right? How about a, co a committee, un, un comité, no? Class? Nadie, nobody from here. Uh, not really, you maybe, know? Maybe not really. Yes. It's, it's difficult maybe because not, you know. when I was, I was studying in the university, I have, uh -huh. uh, I, I course, uh, 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 how do you say, materia? Subject. Uh, that that is uh, in that in that in that what what is it? Material. Ah, the subject. Yes, subject. In the yes. subject, uh, we the we the finish the the, the job the, the final job or the final work mm -hmm. to finish that, that subject is to write a. Uh, all the demands <laughs> for the company, okay. procedures, okay. ethical, that, that is the, the hierarchical uh, hierarchy, the hierarchy diagram, diagram <laughs> yeah. in how the, the, the job position description. Okay. And in the, in the, in when, when I, I start my first job until now, maybe in that, I, until now, I had been in three jobs, but I didn't remember. I don't remember if I saw some manual in paper. Oh, really? Okay. Yes. So, you know, guys, we are becoming, you know, experts in this topic. So why don't we go and get ready with a document, right? So we can share or probably sell that information, right? Extra money. Yeah, just think about it not right you know it is very curious because as i have mentioned before i had the chance to work in a private school so yes i still remember about this um guideline we have like a un documento like an specific document right that you can easily go and check online and whenever uh, we have um a situation probably with a teacher or and student, we could easily go and talk to the, it was like a committee. Avion comité, imagine, so I don't know if it is because it was um, a school or I don't know why, but in my case, yes, I have heard about these, uh, these processes before, right? So I don't know. Tal vez yo fui la que tuvo suerte, ¿verdad? Pero no. Eh, hopefully, yeah, we're going to find some other places in which they have this type of processes. In my previous job, we yeah. we had uh, uh, some committees, but we only 
giant when uh -huh. something happened. Only that in that case, <laughs> if only happened, we okay. we we try to to join because maybe to to review how, what what we have oh. to do in case of. <laughs> okay, just in case of. Okay, interesting. Let's move on. Veamos el número dos. Number two, William. Que se me hizo William. William, where did you go? Ahí se. <laughs> okay, don't worry. Go, please. The bottom line of an Eric program is uh, accomplishing preferred behaviors in the workplace. Okay, accomplishing. Accomplishing. Is, there we go. What is your opinion about that class? Anyone in this class can participate. <laughs> the bottom line of an ethics program is accomplishing yes. preferred the, behavior in the workplace. Yes, so. The main thing is, as, as in everything, the main thing is uh, behavior that you to get in education you need to get a, a, a goal behavior of the students mm -hmm. in the in the management you is expected to get the behavior of the of the apprentice of the learner and of the same in the in the the, 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 the borderline the main thing in a program of ethic is accomplish if uh, to get the specific path of behavior in the in the interaction by the uh, internal organization and external organization to the to the partners to the customers mm -hmm. they are always looking uh, we as a teacher we as a teacher uh, they expect exactly. that we give the grace in the correct form mm -hmm. by the process of the of the good grace and we uh, interact with the students in a correct way exactly in the appropriate mm -hmm. manner mm -hmm. uh, in in this time we don't uh, uh, we can put uh, the students to right lines it's not you can do it that no, you not, can not anymore. you can you can punish the students you need to, to 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 do your teaching process in a very difficult way because the the behavior that they expect from you as a teacher is a, is a, wow as a perfect guy <laughs> a perfect yeah, girl exactly <laughs> and uh, is it's, it's complicated I and if you it. go if you go out of that line if you go out of that guideline you are in problem. You can get your job, uh, lost your job in in the in the in the best uh, scenario. And the other worst things can happen to you if you do the things wrong. Exactly, exactly. And they are expecting that uh, we do the the things in a in a, a perfect way. <laughs> exactly. We need to act in that correct way. There we go. What is your opinion about number three, Andres? Are you in agreement or disagreement? With number three, Andres Giovanni. Yes, I, I agree. Why? Okay, can you read the statement that we have there? And then you let us know about your opinion. Okay. Number three, the best way to handle ethical dilemmas is to avoid their occurrence in the in the first place. Okay. That's why practices such as developing code of ethics and code of conduct are so important. Their, de their development sensitize and produce to ethical considerations and minimize the chance of unethical behavior occurring in first place. So I understand that the company has has to let know to the employees the rules 
and by this way, uh, if you know that you are doing something wrong, you have to avoid that because you know that you are doing something wrong. Interesting. What is your opinion about this? Erwin, are you in agreement or disagreement? Number three, okay? Yes, number three. I talk uh, in a moment about two things, okay? Uh, about the ethic. The ethic yeah. in the uh -huh. company, we have two, uh, two different. The one with, is with the employees, yes? This is okay. the one. Uh -huh. And the second is with the customer, with the brand. Because one brand promise something about the customer that will do the product. Okay. Yeah. But if you don't give the the truth, you will, you will have a problem with the with your brand in the future. Okay, okay. Yes, teacher. I do agree with that as well. Take a look at what is or what we find in this statement number three. So why is it important? It is better to avoid in the first place, I guess, right? Because the development of a guideline in this case or a process, what bring us in the end. ¿Qué pasa si tenemos un, a, a process and everybody knows about this process? Teacher, the, co teacher, the uh -huh. customer never give all the opportunity. Okay, why not? This is the most important. Okay. Never we give you the other opportunity. If you make a mistake and you in, with the product, the customer will find other companies. It's so easy at the moment. And the ethical things I talk about this one, you would use this with the with the employees and with the um, with the customer when you mm -hmm. put it in the brand. Okay, okay. So look, the development sensitizes employees. So it yes. minimizes the chances of huh? Unethical behavior. Okay, there we go. The, because the employees uh -huh. uh, work with with motivation, teacher. Exactly. Yes, the employees work with with motivation. Okay. If you have a, 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 a for example, if you are without, uh, how say, justicia. Justicia. Yes. Yeah, justice. 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 Yeah. Okay. If you work without justice, mm -hmm. the employees will work bad. It's so easy. Okay. It's so easy. Uh, but what happens when when the employees do not follow the internal code? Mm -hmm. Because oh, sometimes this is a big problem because some employees do not like the internal code of the companies. Okay, you say the employees, bye-bye. <laughs> only that, only that. Yeah. You find another employees. Yeah, it's so easy. Go for another one who really likes yes, to follow. Yes, find them. another one. This is so easy, and it's another so easy to work. <laughs> bye bye. If you don't like it, okay, bye bye. And when you want the the, the, the work, you say yes, I want the call. I want this <laughs> one. But after that, if you don't want, okay, bye bye. Forget it. No problem. Okay. So yeah. Yes. It's so easy. It's so uh, easy, right? It's so easy, so easy. <laughs> if um, you want to keep your job, yes, and so if easy. you know that you have like a set of rules that you need to follow, of course, right? This Richard, is what do you, you, do you yeah. remember the uh, whiskey Johnny Walker? The not slogan, not, the slogan? Not keep really. Working. What is? Uh, keep, keep, keep working. Keep working, okay. Yeah, the company all the time, keep working. We, employees or with all the employees. So we can apply that slogan. Yes. Keep right. There we sigue go. Sigue caminando. Sigue caminando. Muy bien. Yeah, it's so easy, teacher. Yeah. Okay. 
it's so easy, right? Let me ask Telma. Telma, uh, what is your opinion about number four? Can you read the statement, the guidelines, and then give me what, or the idea, or what you were discussing in your group? Tell mom. Yeah, yeah. I mean, okay. Go. Okay. Um, uh, as you know that the, the medi edit method is in, is added because uh, for every company has uh, credibility and uh, it's but it depends that how to implement uh -huh. the uh, the the edit code in your in your workplace uh, but it's uh, is um, is important it depend the perspective that uh, that Eric implement in every every group. Okay. So make ethics decisions in groups and make decisions public as appropriate, right? So what will happen if uh, we have in the company only people from human resources or probably the boss, he's giving us the guidelines that we need to follow. Yeah. Does this increase the credibility or not? ¿Qué pasaría? Yes. Oh, perfect. It's uh, reducing. Uh -huh. Reducing suspicion. That's a problem. <laughs> and the yes. Ok, muy bien. What is your opinion? Eh, ¿Quién me falta? ¿Quién no ha participado? Kenya. And then Freddy. Number four. Um, for example, when the company um, is going to present a new system, they have to advise the employees first because if they take a decision mm -hmm. without telling anybody uh, that make a deal. Okay. Great example, Freddy. Yeah. What is your opinion about? About what? Number four? Yes, yeah, number four. We are a song number four. Make ethic decisions in group. They make decisions in group because they appropriate. This is your better quality decision by employing the diversity. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it, teacher. <laughs> Me encanta su necesidad, you know? I agree, dice. Estoy de acuerdo. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. Que alguien más para concluir el número four. Number four. <laughs> ¿Qué estuvieron discutiendo, clase, with, with your group? <laughs> or are you in agreement or not? Ahí cerrémoslo, vaya. So we can move on. <laughs> yeah, I agree. <laughs> I agree, teacher. I don't know why, but I do agree. <laughs> don't you worry. Vamos a ver. Number five. Um, do I have Genesis in the class? Yeah, yeah she's there. Okay. Veamos número cinco. Okay. Do I read it? <laughs> sure. Why not? Okay. Integrate. Integrate ethics management with other management practices. Um, when developing 
The values statement during strategic planning include ethical values preferred in the workplace. When developing personal policies, reflect on what ethical values you'd like to be most prominent in the organization's culture and then design policies to produce these behaviors. So I think um, it's like when, when you have like internal policies within the company mm -hmm. that uh, the, guide, the guidelines for, for the, the employees, and for example, in my in my company, they have this um, they have a, a set of guidelines that they review periodically, mm -hmm. and that we have to follow in order to you know be good at what we do. And this sometimes requires to uh, include these guidelines within our jobs. And so this makes it easy for us to continue doing and these guidelines, I don't know. I'm sorry. No, that's okay. Thank you so much for participating. Let me see, uh, we are still missing number six, seven and Number eight, okay, six, use cross-functional teams. Again, aquí, teams. Nos está diciendo que es mejor en teams. When developing and implementing the ethics management program, okay? Let me have, quiero ver quién me falta. Alguien que no haya, eh, participado mucho en la clase. Because the idea is for you to practice and express your ideas. Doris, number six. Read the statement and let us know about your opinion. Number six. Number six. Use a cross-functional teams when developing is implement the Eric management program. It's better that the organization employees feel a sense of participation and ownership on the program if they are not added to its ethical values. There before, include employees in developing and operation the program. When I think uh, I agree with with this uh, paragraph because okay. because uh, it's import it's simple the employees participate in the in the program and and not only uh, in operation exactly. is doing development too. Uh, yeah. It is important like to have the point of view of the employee, right? Not only uh, having this type of processes, um, yeah. you know, uh, being developed by management, right? Yes. So it can be fair. We really need to have like the participation of employees as well so they can feel motivated right to follow these guidelines to participate to know that their opinion is also valuable okay this is what i get i don't know if you're in agreement with this yes yes right seventh we are about to finish guys siete veamos francisco Where is Francisco? Ya se durmió, Jasmine. 
70s. Sorry? Me? Number seven, yeah, please. Uh, okay, so value forgiveness. So I understand it that um, since it's a process, you can't expect people to adapt to the behavior you want. So it takes time and effort to make it happen. So you will eventually find that this person or the or people that you're talking about make mistakes. Like uh, like this week, you arrive at, at work late, like three, three days out of the week. Then you have a, a, a personal action because of it, let's say. But you're not, you can't just like, fired them for that in that week because let's be honest traffic takes time even if you go out early mm -hmm. so it's understandable as well as for example if you have like um a very uh out of place like hair color okay. in it okay, you can okay we understand that for your hair care you can just dye it immediately after but like take into account like don't having like crazy colors and things like that or like um or for example if your job requires you to cover up tattoos uh like okay please try to wear clothes that uh, cover them up or, or or um or don't bring clothes that have weird messages in them like t-shirts that have curse words and things like that so you so you have to give them chances to improve now if you give them the chances to improve but they don't that's a different matter altogether okay so look at this information help employees or help people recognize and i guess an important who can help me out reading this idea are you in agreement or disagreement with this one? Go ahead, please. Help people recognize and address their mistakes and then support and then... them to continue to try to operate ethically. There we go. And then support them to continue. Because if you are letting people know about their mistakes, but you are not trying to help, so it won't really work at the end, right? So this is very important. El value of forgiveness. Me gusta bastante. Excellent and interesting. Number eight, let's have the last one. What time is it? Yeah, we still have time for this one. El último. Lower this, please. Go ahead. Number eight says, note that trying to operate ethically and making a few mistakes is better than not trying at all. We were discussing this in our group that, well, the paragraph says that sometimes the manager feels pressure to present um, or to start a program because they are afraid of the public or the employees also that to be too cruel if, if there's something goes wrong or someone makes a mistake. Mm -hmm. We were uh, talking about the examples of the bad reviews in social media. Mm -hmm. Like um, sometimes people don't consider it that we all are humans, that we have bad days. Uh, for example, uh, maybe a wait waitress was stressed or feeling bad and she made a mistake, but people go to Facebook and write a very rude statement. Mm -hmm. um, it is impossible to control everything. Um, for example, a manager cannot control every people's behavior or feelings. So um, it's important to note that it's better to do something than to do nothing. It says that it's better to try to give a guideline then don't for being afraid, right? Like, as Jasmine says, it's, it's a process and you have to expect mistakes and that it takes some time. Don't be afraid about that. Maybe companies can 
can treat these situations, being honest with the public and admit mistakes or something like that. Exactly. That's my idea. <laughs> great, great. Who else has something to say about this one? Interesting I, what I she was something. expressing. Go ahead, please. Yeah, it's, uh, I agree. And I think it's not, the problem, it's not that companies uh, make mistakes because mm -hmm. I, I think that's okay, but it's how they manage and how they deal with the, their mistakes. What's important because um, I've seen some companies uh, make mistakes with their customers, for example, and instead of addressing the issue. And I've seen this especially in small companies lately. Okay, okay. And instead of addressing the issue, they they get mad at the customer or they uh, mistreat them or say that it's the customer's fault. And that is the problem. I, I, if, the, if the company made a mistake, I think it's important that they admit it if it was their fault and then try to make it better for whoever was affected by that mistake. Exactly. And you know, sometimes maybe it's not the company itself, right? But an employee, a bad employee, right? So whenever yeah, you, you know, speak, uh -huh, tell me. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's <laughs> just that I, I was, I'm in a group uh, in on Facebook that it, uh -huh. about uh, technology mm -hmm. and they were talking about how a company, how this guy, took uh, his computer to be fixed, but it was a minor fix and the computer was working well. And then the company returned the computer and it was it didn't work anymore. And they said to him that, that it wasn't their fault that a component stopped working and that it was probably the employee's fault and that they, the employee had to pay for it and basically that they really? were um, they were play, they were blaming the employee about it and they didn't want to uh, take uh, their responsibility but I think that it's not the employee's fault even if it actually was but I think that uh, the company is the the face or the it's, it's responsible for that employee that made the mistakes so that they they should be account, held accountable for, for that mistake as well. I mean, the company, not just the employee. Exactly. And, yeah, because right. we as employees, right, we are expecting to have that support, you know, from, from the company, right? I know we sometimes make mistakes, but that's why it is very important to have those type of processes there we go so great discussion guys i guess we have learned a lot today in my case yes you know um i really feel that we have been practicing and giving you know uh, the, the, this the this week. last scene teacher mm -hmm. <laughs> this this last scene is is the same as a math trying and making mistake yeah. is better than not trying. In, in, in math, is the same thing. The people think that they need to get results, but the 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 very good thing in math is trying, trying, trying. Even though it's difficult, it's better for the. In that way, you make never connections. In this case, it's better try, even though you get a. Uh, mistake, but if you don't try, you lose it. Okay. Try. It's no matter that you get some mistakes. Muy bien. Hey, great, great opinion. How was that? So, any other opinion? Or can I proceed? Because time is over. I need to check the attendance list. Second time. Not really? Bien, class. Vamos a empezar con Andrés. Andrés Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present. Muy bien. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present, teacher. Diego Alejandro Caballero López. Dora Elizabeth Flores Méndez. Present. Muy bien. Erwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher, present. Okay. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. 
Present. Francisco Amadeo Villacorta Chávez. I'm here, teacher. Freddy Vladimir Cortés López. I'm here. Genesis del Carmen y Hernández Pirzuela. Present. Okay. Harvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Jasmine Marisol Escobar Flores. Present. Kenya Esmeralda Galvez Ruiz. Present. Okay. Kenya, can you please stay today? Just for five or ten minutes after the yes. class. Okay, low order, Monserrat Hernández Velasquez. Present. Madeline Jamilet Molina González. Telma Cleotilde Peña Martínez. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jessica Yanari Cortés Díaz. I'm here. And Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Good night. Okay, so class, thank you so much for joining today's class. Nos vamos a ver hasta mañana, okay? See you tomorrow. Have a great night. Good night. Bye. 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 Okay, Kenya, Kenya. ¿Cómo estamos, Kenya? How is it going? Hello, uh, everything is fine. Yeah, but right. I have some problems so, with the platform. Really? Okay. Let me help you with the platform. With section number um, one, section number two, you cannot access uh, to the platform. What is the problem that you're having? No, at the end of the um, unit number two, there is a uh, like midterm. I, I don't know if that is correct. Ah, the midterm exam, section number two, right? Yes, the part three, all of the responses are gone. Vamos a ver. I don't know why, aquí está. I cannot share my screen. Vamos a ver la plataforma. Let me look for it. No, no es esta. Okay, the midterm exam, you said. Yes, the part number three. Three, three, three. So, you know, I guess, yes, it was Doris. She was letting me know about this one. I don't know if it's the same, that number three and number four, they were together in the same item or not? Or what is the problem yeah. that you're getting? Is that the one? Yeah, but also with the part three, uh, the next one, all of the answers give me Chrome, even though I I wrote them like she is good at dancing. Uh -huh. Yeah, because this is the next topic Punto. that we are going to have about gerunds. Muy bien, vamos a tener el gerunds. So yeah, she's good at dancing. And then we have singing, but let me show you. Aquí están las respuestas. So I don't know what, why. Aquí están todas. Son gerunds. Ajá, las puse toditas así, pero. So, todas solo eran. dancing, and it, as you may see, not punctuation needed. Because we already have the period right here. So you just need but to. Without the whole sentence. Ajá. Uh -huh. You just need to write this dancing and that's it. Singing. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. And with the next one. This one. Yes. So in here, yeah, the instruction is clear. I creo cuando teníamos instruction, right? Mm -hmm. So it says yeah. type the general form of the verb in parentheses. So yeah, I appreciate having, I guess this is the same. Yeah. Oh, 
I appreciate having the company. Uh -huh, having. Oh. Making. Okay, I got it. I got it now. Okay, hiring, working, and talking. Ahí estamos. Okay, thank you so but, much. But do not worry, no, don't worry about this. So, Kenya, let me ask you, eh, avanzado número dos, ¿cómo nos sentimos en advance number two? Do you feel ready to be here? Yes, right? <laughs> I know you are ready to be in this group. Because some of eh, your classmates, they may express, you know, I don't feel ready because I know my pronunciation is not good or I'm still missing some vocabulary or it's some opinions like those ones. So how do you feel with this level? I I really feel ready, but I think I just need to have more vocabulary to extend my my sentences. Ah, okay. So as you may see, um, but this is not the first time, right? That you're taking this type of programs, right? Or classes. Uh, no, it's not really, right? So you already no. know about the methodology. As you may see, English para el trabajo is way different from any other type of courses. Because if you go and take English para todos, that this is another program that INSAFOR has or offers, you are just going to be um, having these grammar topics. You know, a grammar topic, exercises, you go to the platform, and that's it. But in this case, Inglés para el Trabajo, it is a very great chance. So you can have some extra vocabulary. You can learn a lot. Because in my case, you know, I don't, I don't tend to have this type of discussions or talk about this type of topic, you know, with nobody, because it's not that common. So, we really need to take advantage of this class time. So you can go read about this information, think about possible examples, think about your workplace, you know, and, uh, and in between the reading, between lines, I don't know, you can find, you know, a lot of uh, definition, new key terms. So what you could easily do write down all of that information and then you go and look for the definition, try to use um, those words in new sentences. So you can have like extra vocabulary. This is like an idea, but I don't know how to feel. For example, the topic that we were presenting today, how did you feel with that uh, exercise? Yeah, it was really hard because in my company, uh, I don't want to say anything about what. Uh, <laughs> Let's not so mention much, the name of the company. Uh -huh. Yeah, there is not much ethnics. Uh, I mean, if you get sick, you don't get you don't get paid. If mm -hmm. you have mm -hmm. an incapacity. Uh, yes. Yeah. So, but I think it is uh, really interesting the topics that we have been had these few days. Yes, right? Yeah, because they make you think about your company in another way. Exactly, exactly. It makes you feel like if you were the owner of that company, you would really make a, or you would really change some aspects so the company could work in a different way, right? Because this is what happens to me whenever I'm expressing myself, my like my ideas about these topics. I'm just thinking about my boss, my co-workers, the company itself, right? But yes, this is what, what happens to me. But you know, um, how do you feel with your English, with your pronunciation, with grammar, expressing your ideas? Is it hard for you is it easy because i have been listening to you and in my opinion is good your pronunciation is good your level of english is good as well but how do you feel uh i think i need to improve my grammar okay yes in what sense 
Um, for example, in conjugations. Ah, okay, okay. Yes, or the past perfect, a uh, past participle. Ah, whenever you need to use those structures. So, for example, as you may see, um, up to this moment, we have had only two grammar or three grammar topics. We have we have talked about gerunds, a positives, and I don't remember the other one. <laughs> but <laughs> as you may see, uh, we present grammar in a different way. Okay, we are having the topic, the grammar topic, but then we want to have those examples with the topic that we have been presenting, right? Yeah. So you see. I guess grammar is not that difficult, but you do not really need to be like uh, worried about it, right? Thinking about the grammar rules, I know we are in the learning process. We sometimes make mistakes, but this is the class. You are allowed to have those mistakes here in the class, so don't worry. And you know what? It's very interesting. Whenever we make mistakes, our brain let us know about, oh, you're not pronouncing this word in the correct way, or you're not using the structure in the correct way. Siento que eso pasa. Bueno, no sé a mí, me pasa. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right, pasa. Entonces, don't be afraid. No hay que tener miedo de hacer errores. Más que más que todo en la clase, no. We are all in the same level. Your classmates are all in the same level, right? Yes. Entonces, para mejorar la gramática, solo hay que practicar. Don't be afraid. Hay que hablar y hablar y hablar. Y así se va a ir amoldando el idioma. Un idioma no se aprende en seis meses, en un año, no. Es algo que no se va a dejar de hacer, ¿ok? So, creo que eso es lo que tenemos que entender. So yeah. you're practicando, you just keep on practicing, right? Yep, thank you so much. Yes, so don't you worry, Kenya, uh, you're doing a great job. And believe me, in case that you need help with the platform or you want to have like a comment about the class, the activities that we're doing, I am here ready to help you, to listen to you as well. And just be, take take your time, okay? If you want to express yourself about it, you can let us know about it, okay? Yeah, I thank you. I, I appreciate it. Oh, okay. Y no sé, algún comentario extra, algo que queramos reforzar, ya lo hablamos, ¿verdad? No sé, ¿algo más? Yes. No, 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 nada más. Nada más dice, okay. So, gracias, Kenia, por quedarse un ratitito. Eh, lo estamos haciendo bien, okay? We are doing a great job. Okay, muchas gracias. Buenas noches. Buenas noches, Kenia. See you tomorrow. See you. Bye bye.